Hey guys, this is Rob Hutton. I'm going to do another dark table video. This time we're going to go um, do a GPS track. Um, we're going to bring back the GPS track, we're going to take some photos, go for a walk, get out into the beautiful uh, rainy Oxford afternoon, and then we're going to come back, we're going to load those things into Darktable, we're going to geotag our photos, and we're going to upload them, and they'll be fully geotagged and on a map. So let's go do it. Okay, so first things first, we need to install a couple of apps on our phone. Um, I'm using an Android phone here, but you can find equivalent apps, I'm sure, for any type of phone. Um, so the first one I'm going to use is this GPS test program. And what this is going to do, you can see that my GPS is flashing up here, it's trying to connect. Um, what this is going to do is it's going to make an initial connection, but most importantly it's going to give us this time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a photo of the time on here, and then we'll use that to synchronize ourselves to the GPS track in a moment once we, well, once we go back and load everything back into Darktable. So I'm just going to take that shot now. There we go. Now, the next app that I need is an app that will take the GPS track. So let's go back into here. I've got My Tracks, which is a Google app, I think. I'm not entirely sure. But this will allow us to record our track and put it on the map as we go through our trip. So I'll just close this off now. Well, actually, I'll leave it running and just go back to the home screen and just sleep my phone. I'm going to put it in my pocket and we're going to go for our walk and take some photos. So now I'm back uh, in the office. I've downloaded my image files onto my hard disk and I've, I'm about to show you how to get the GPX file from the KML file. So, uh, if you use the uh, Google My Tracks um, program, what it will do is once your phone is back within reception, it'll upload the file and the file will appear in your Google Drive. So, it'll appear in the My Tracks folder here. So, the one that we did today was this one here. So, I'm just going to click on that. Um, you'll get a map showing you exactly where you went and we can now click on this file, uh, this button here to download the file. So I'll just save that. Now the best way I've found to process the file into a GPX file is to use GPS Visualizer. Um, what I might do is update the uh, video a bit later on to show if there's a better app that I can use which produces GPX files natively. But for now, I will uh, just convert the GPX file, 217 Cali Road GPX file into, uh, sorry, the KML file into a GPX file. Okay, so that's now converted it into a GPX. We can see that here. Uh, what I'll do is I'll save this link. Orchard. Okay, so we now have a GPX version of our track. So now what we need to do is go into here and open up our uh, images. We'll just import them as a film roll. So here are the photos that I took. Now the next thing we need to do is just go and make sure that we have the correct offset. So I'm just going to zoom in on that first image that I took which shows the uh, time on the GPS device. We then go into the geotagging um, plugin click on this magnifying glass icon here which will calculate the offset from an image and we just type in here the local time that we see so it's 16 50 55 and click OK now what that's doing is it's actually going into the EXIF information and it's comparing the date time that the camera has to the date time that's displayed on the image and so it can work out from these two numbers what the difference is and it just puts that difference into the time offset here. So the next thing we need to do is apply the GPS track, GPX track file to the images. So we need to uh, just zoom out. I'm pressing control and mouse wheel down to zoom out. And I'm going to select all of the images that were part of uh, my trip. Now these were taken after the trip. This was taken before so I haven't selected those. So I just clicked on the first image there, shift, and clicked on the last image. Now I'm going to apply the GPX track file 
and I'm going to make sure that I select the correct time zone here otherwise it'll be out by some number of hours unless you live in GMT time zone. So now I select the GPX file and I click open. Now if everything go has gone well you'll see the GPX location has mapped onto a certain number of images that's greater than zero. Okay so we now as now Darktable knows where these images were taken so if we switch over to the map now and zoom in we'll see that the images have mapped onto the correct locations and that all looks correct as far as I can tell. Now another thing to point out is there, there are a bunch of different uh, maps available and you can just click through them and see which one you like. I happen to like Open Cycle Map because it has the uh, topographical information so you can see where the hills are and so forth. I'm just going to zoom in here and you can see that I took these shots around the church and you can see that they're shots of the church. So now I'll switch back to the light table and I'll just process my images really quickly. I won't talk through it but uh, I'll fast forward through this. So what I'm doing now is just going in the light table mode, fully zoomed in and selecting the images I like by pressing the number 2 on the keyboard which assigns two stars to them. Once I've finished this process, in the top left hand corner I'll pull down the view, um, pull down menu and I'll select two or more stars which will uh, filter. There we go. So now I've just got the images I like. Uh, so I'm just going to go through and do some standard edits, uh, a bit of exposure there, setting the white balance onto the next image, shadows and highlights to bring back a little detail in the sky, plus a graduated density to bring back some detail in the sky. A little bit of exposure, fiddling, uh, lens correction, because it was so zoomed out there's a lot of barrel distortion. Now I'm just going to crop it a little bit onto this beautiful rose, I'm uh, just cropping it. I don't think I do much else to this image other than the crop. Onto this little alleyway with a um, girl walking down. Just going to straighten it up by uh, using the right click of the crop and rotate module and then just going to crop it a little, just rotate it a little bit more, it wasn't quite straight and just getting the crop right. Okay, onto the next. This is a little chapel, just getting the rotation right. Um, adding the shadows and highlights and just setting the exposure. There's this little farm house um, and I'm just adding a little bit more colour and I'm really going to um, add quite a bit of compression uh, to the graduated density just to make sure that the sky brings back the detail. This fungus, I tried a few things like clarity and so forth but I actually preferred it just as it was. Um, and the same with this apple, I tried cropping it quite tightly but ended up just leaving the image as it was. Sometimes, you know, images come out of the camera quite nicely. So I'm now I'm uh, using the shadows and highlights, setting it to bilateral filter so that we don't get too much of a um, halo. Just setting the exposure. Now I'm fiddling with the white balance of the juice that uh, that we made from the apple, and this is the uh, leftover apple after we made the made the juice. Just uh, fiddling with the. Um, denoising at the moment because this was taken in our dark kitchen and just setting the exposure a little bit correctly. Okay, so now I've finished my raw edits of my images. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to export them. Okay, I'm going to export them to Flickr. Okay, so I've exported those files from the export plugin and I've uploaded them onto my Flickr account now. So I'll just go in and just show you the location. Let's pick, say, this rose here. And if I go in here and do edit location on your map, we can see that it's picked up that location from Darktable. Okay, so that's going to be the end of my video. Bit of a different one this time, but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something about Darktable. I'll just run through the uh, images that I took um, for you to have a quick look at the really quick raw edits that I did. See you next time.